Welcome to the class of Vedic Maths. Vedic Maths has been used since ancient times, as a way of faster calculation method. Formulas of Vedic Maths is originally contained in, Atava Veda, one of the four Vedas, originally written in Sanskrit language, which is an Indian ancient text, and from that text itself, there is a method called Nikilam method, which is basically a method of multiplication. So in this class, we will discuss about multiplication by Nikilam method, and, with the help of this Nikilam method, we will learn, how to multiply the complicated numbers, like, 92 multiplied by 98, 92 multiplied by 108, 108 multiplied by 112, 994 multiplied by 996, in just seconds, and we will also be able to, do square of 98, 998, 9998, something, this kind of numbers in just seconds, so on the right side of the screen, I have written some of the very basic points, that we have to remember every time, when we use this method. This Nikilam method, is also called as a base method, because, this method is convenient to multiply two such numbers, that are closer to a base, like 100, 1000, 10,000 etc. Answers are written in two parts, part 1 and 2. Part 2 contains as many digits as the numbers of zeros in base. For example, 2 digits for 100 base, 3 digits for 1000 base, 4 digits for 10,000 base and so on. If number of digits in part 2 are less than the number of zeros in base, then put zeros before it to make it equal. If the numbers of digits are more than the number of zeros in base, then carry the extra, to the leftmost digit of part 1. If part 2 has negative value then make it positive by borrowing a suitable number from part 1. So in this very first class, I have taken the multiplication of such numbers which are closer to a base 100 and less than 100. Now, let's start with the first example, that is, 92 multiplied by 98. So, as I have said that, these methods are conveniently applied to a number which are closer to a base, so first of all we have to find out that, to which base, the numbers are closer to. So here, we see that, both these numbers are closer to 100, so the base is 100. The next thing that we have to do, is to find out that 92 is how much less than its base, that is 100. So, we see that 92 is 8 less than 100. And 98 is 2 less than 100. Okay, once we do this, we can directly write down the answer. The final answer will have two parts. In the first part, we will write down the difference of 92 and 2, or, the difference of 98 and 8. So in either case, difference will be 90. This is the first part. Now comes the second part, which has to be written in continuation of the first part. In second part, we will write down the multiplication of these two, that is, 8 multiplied by 2, that is, 16. Thus the combination of first and the second part, give the whole answer. So by multiplying 92 by 98 we get 9016 as an answer. The only thing that we have to check before finalizing the answer is the number of digits in second part. As per the rule, the number of digits in the second part should be equal to the number of zeros in the base, which means, if the multiplying number is closer to base 100, then the second part of answer must contain two digits. So here in our example, the second part, already contain, two digits, as here the base is 100 and it contains two zeros. So this is the final answer. Let us move towards the next example, that is, 94 multiplied by 96. Again here, the base is 100 as was in the earlier case. Now the next thing is that, the number 94, that is the first number, is how much less than 100? It is 6. And, 96 is how much less than 100? It is 4. Once you have done with this, you can write down the answer. 
the first part will be the difference of i there, that is, the difference of 94 and 4, or, 96 and 6. It will be 90. This is the first part. The second part will be the multiplication of these two, 6 multiplied by 4, that is, 24. This is the second part. So now you have to check whether the second part contains two digit? Yes, it contains. Thus, 9024 is the final answer. Let us move towards the third example. Again, the base for this calculation is 100. So the difference between 98 and 100 is 2. And the difference between 99 and 100 is 1. Now, we can write down the answer. The answer will be in two parts. In the first part, we will write the difference of 98 and 1, or, 99 and 2, that is 97. The second part will be the multiplication of 2 and 1, that is 2. But here in this example, the second part contains only one digit, but it has to contain two digits. If number of digits in part 2 is less, then we have to put zeros before it to make it equal to the numbers of zeros in base. Since it contain one digit, Therefore, we have to put 1 0 before 2, to make it equal to 2 digits, so it becomes 9702. That is the answer. Now the last example is 97 multiplied by 98. Again, the base for this is 100. Now, 97 is how much less than 100? That is 3. And 98 is 2 less than 100. Now, we will write down the answer. In the first part we will write the difference of 97 and 2, that is 95. In the second part we will write the multiplication of 3 and 2, that is 6. Since second part is not containing 2 digit, so we have to put 0 before it, so the final answer will be, 9506. So we have seen, that this is very simple method. And you need not have to do all these calculations. Once you practice it, you can write down the answer directly. We will see other type of example in the next class.